Greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania, where we treat people. We don't necessarily treat diagnoses. Uh, I'm Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Kelsey. I'm a PA student from Duquesne University. And on my right... I'm Brandon. I'm a physician assistant student from the University of Mount Union. And as always, we attempt to bring something to you every week that you can incorporate into your life to have it make your life live out loud and have a life worth living. So today what we're talking about... Uh, Mr. Brandon, is uh, the concept of eyes wide shut. What the heck does that mean? That seems like a paradox. Means, yeah, I mean, it can be a tough concept to grasp. It's, it really means when they're, you're really not receptive to, um, to information, maybe you have preconceived notions on how things should be, or how people should act, um, different things like that. You're really just closed-minded, and often it, it comes from an ego um, of thinking that your way is the right way, and that's the only way it can be. So when you walk through life with an expert's mind, you walk through life with blinders on, only seeing what you expect to see or want to see? Exactly. Sure. And I understand that uh, you have an illustration of that, Kelsey. <clears throat> yes. Um, so a story of this is by um, the author Edgar Allan Poe, and it's called The Purloined Letter. So in this, it was about a very important, sensitive government document that was stolen. And while the police, investigators, and intelligence agency um, search diligently and frantically to look for the letter. However, searching everyone's home and the access they had to the document, they were unable to find it. So when the person who took the letter finally gave it back, they found out that it was being hidden in plain, plain sight. And the investigators were all looking in uh, places where they expected the letter to be or expected something hidden to be, but in reality it was in plain sight. So they weren't seeing everything, they were just seeing what they wanted to see and looking where they wanted to look instead of um, um, seeing everything for what it was. And how many times do we go through life just looking for what we want to see? Very often. Sure, sure. So I understand that you have another uh, example. Yes, um, I think a lot of us are familiar with Cliff Notes or Spark Notes version where you kind of get the gist of a story without having all the details. And that's kind of relevant, relevant to this as well because if your um, eyes are wide shut, you aren't seeing the details. You're getting caught up in the overall theme and you're kind of missing what really is there. Sure, and that's a, one, a whole lot, unfortunately, what life is like now. And when we talk about technology, you two are part of the uh, technology generation, the social media generation. However, at times when we consult Dr. Google exclusively and we only look for the thing, the answers that we want to see, right. we can look for answers. You can find anything that, that suits your purposes, can you not? Mm -hmm. To back it up. Absolutely. Right. So what this does is it helps us become, it becomes shallow surface thinkers is what it does, where we where we just graze through life and, and browse through skimming over the surface and never going any deeper. Uh, I still think that spell check's the most wonderful invention, that one of the most wonderful inventions that man has ever made. However, Brandon, it's made me a horrible speller. Is that right? Absolutely. Because why, why should I? Yeah. How, how, why should I have to learn how to spell? True. Somebody, somebody will do that for me. Okay, so on the contrary, there's also a phrase called living with your eyes wide open. Could, could one of you share about that? Yeah, so when you're living your life with your eyes wide open, um, it's kind of like a similar concept as mindfulness, being really truly present in the moment and paying attention on purpose um, and seeing things for what they are and not what you want them to be. Sure, and when, I mean, again, what we refer to that, Kelsey, we refer to that as a beginner's mind, when you can participate in life and step back and not be immersed in it and see the sheer joy and wonder and, and complexity of what's going on, the excitement of being a three- or a four-year-old and seeing something for the very first time and seeing that. So it's like it's having your sensors on. Like when a helicopter or an airplane or if you're in a submarine or in a spaceship and the sensors go off, you're basically flying blind, are you not? Mm -hmm. So how many of you in life are flying blind right now? How many people are flying blind in their lives? So today we're going to wrap things up a little bit by a quote by T.E. Lawrence, also known as Lawrence of Arabia. And his quote is, we all dream but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find it was vanity, ego. 
But the dreamers of the day are dangerous, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make them possible. So my suggestion is, is to pay attention on purpose. Participate in your life, being able to accurately label and describe every single thing that you see in your life down to the finest details. My challenge to you, as always, is to go out and be in a familiar place, be in a familiar surrounding, a familiar trip, and notice something that you've never seen before. I'll guarantee that you've noticed that, and it'll add rich richness and texture and flavor to your life, like adding different spices mm -hmm. to, to soups. So the idea here is that we want everyone out there, I challenge everyone out there to impact their life. And of course, we all have a need for comfort. We all have a need for safety uh, and security. However, once we achieve those things, do we ever go any further? So that is living life with your eyes wide shut. My advice to you, live your life with your eyes wide open. See the possibilities that were in front of you. Be a dreamer and be dangerous. Be a dreamer and be dangerous. So the, and as always, at the end of every podcast, we offer a free prescription, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask that you fish without bait, a lifetime without definitive expectations. Your challenge, as always, is to be kind to yourself and to be kind to another. Namaste.